<laughs> that was a, a very real gobble, gobble gobble. It really was. We had so much fun. I know we've been talking about it a lot, kicking up mm -hmm. the turkey fun yesterday. Yeah, it what just feels good. You know what? I, and it's also really an honor for mm -hmm. us. Like Team PTL has sort of taken over the turkey fun. All right. of KDK is behind it, but we we've, we've sort of launched it yesterday with PNC Bank and the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank. And you think about the legacy. Like yeah. I remember growing up watching Al Julius, and and now our, our friend Yvonne Zanos was part of it for so long, and and it just helps so many right. families. So really we're does. excited to talk about it. Well, and I think when we've talked to with um, the Greater Community Food Bank in the past, they've talked about food insecurity, and mm -hmm. you, it's not who you typically think it would be. I mean, you think that you know you must be really low on the poverty level, but it doesn't mean no. that. I mean, it could be those people, but it also is someone who's working two jobs or three jobs mm -hmm. and just. Is struggling doesn't, to get doesn't food doesn't know on the how table. to make it happen. Yeah. So and and I think it's really important for the holidays for people to have that special day and to not be able to do that because you're food insecure. Is, yeah. Is unfortunate, you want to so. you want to give the gift of that holiday tradition right. around the table, right. and and so they don't have to worry about it for that day. Right. Because I think that's a really special thing. And we're talking about our neighbors. Right. Like they're people in our area that you just may not realize. So anyhow, we one of the things we want to let you know is is Zazu has a great oh, promotion. Right. They, they, the they have gotten on board with this. Yeah. They so put a tip jar. They put a tip jar out. right there on the front desk there. So people the can counter. make donations right into that. Which yeah. That's great. And, and school, if they, oh, sorry, go ahead. No. Well, I was going to say, if they can take that tip jar to PNC Bank, they will match it $50 or more, up to $50,000. They're matching donations. So it's really, it's really special. It is very special. So we are excited about that. We're going to keep telling you about it. We're going to chart the progress, and we really encourage you to, to donate. And we have a big goal this year. I know. You asked this question yesterday, and I was like, when Jim told us, I know. $600,000. Yeah. So we have so, a big goal. Yeah. It's and gonna we need be, your help. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, a lot of people are going to be heading out, giving uh, some fall festivals a go this weekend. Maybe you're going apple picking, taking the family to the pumpkin patch. Right? Yes, and in fact, we are, as we mentioned, are supposed to be going to Sorgles tomorrow. If the weather holds up, we will be in <laughs> Sorgles in Wexford, and that's why Please we say. brought in Ron Smiley because we want to interrogate him about the forecast, Ron. And, and it does look like the weather is going to cooperate with Good. us tomorrow. Uh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon where we think that that rain is going to be set to arrive. Now uh, we're going to be cloudy today, 61. Your expected high temperature winds actually out of the northwest. That'll be part of the reason why our temperatures will be cooler than the 68 that we hit yesterday. And also, as you're looking right here, you can see cloudy conditions today as well. 60 at 2. Right around the 2 o'clock time, that's about when we should hit the high temperature. We do have a number of events going on tomorrow, just like you guys are talking about, not just us at Sorgles. Uh, that's at noon. You can see a couple of Halloween events going on tomorrow as well. And we do have, obviously, the big concern there when it comes to uh, the forecast. So here it is. Uh, at least in the morning, it'll be dry, cloudy. Uh, and then as we're heading into the afternoon after 3 o'clock, that's when we are expecting some rain showers to arrive. Once those rain showers arrive, they will be here for the rest of the day. And in fact, wrapping up on Sunday as a cold front slides through our area. So we'll watch closely for that. Let's head over to our seven day and show you what's going on there. Uh, we're expecting a high today of 61 degrees. Your Saturday high with those afternoon, evening and overnight showers at 63 and a Sunday high coming in at 66 degrees. Also, we stay warm is what it looks like right now. Uh, into next week. So that looks like Monday's high 67, 68 on Tuesday for a high. And also we're looking at uh, temperatures on Wednesday with rain chances around uh, at 69 degrees. Also your Thursday high about 67. That's Halloween, uh, but it does look like some rain showers will also uh, be around is what it looks like at this point. So overall, this is unseasonably warm weather that we're looking at. Back over to you guys. <laughs> You. He wasn't telling you to come over. I thought he was. I was like, wait, do you want me to over there? Where do you want me? <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Right. Appreciate your wall, it. Ron. That was not smooth. <laughs> not smooth at all. Up next, look who's back with Halloween costume number two. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, now this one. Oh, oh, see, I think I'm going to vote for this so oh, far. Okay, we are uh, going to check out a little visit with Penguin. We're also looking at the top 10 costumes for dogs this year. That's next. And then a little bit later on, his shows are almost sold out for this weekend, but you can catch them right here on PTL. We'll have some laughs with comedian and actor and writer Marlon Wayans. He is here in the house. Stay with us. It's coming up.